Hello, hello, good evening. How are you today, guys? Hello, Noel. Hello, Lisette. Hello, Roxana. Hello, Isaias and Patricia. Welcome to this class. It's nice to meet you. Well, my name is Ever Nieto and it's a pleasure to be with you today. Today we're going to start the course beginner three. Then we're going to have a great time learning this beautiful language and how we get fun, we have a lot of fun. And the goal is that you learn, that you learn a lot in this class. So I'm gonna ask you for your attention, for your participation. And I want to say thank you for the ones who are already connected. You are so punctual and that is great. Hello, Mr. Ricardo, welcome to the class. Miss Angelica, welcome. Hello. How are you today? Hello, good evening. Hello, Miss Eric. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hello, Mr. Hi. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Mr. Raul. Welcome to the class. Hello. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Okay, just let me know. Do you want to be called Miss and Mister or just for your name? In my case, my name is Ever Nieto, and you can call me Ever, you can call me teacher, and no problem with that. So tell me, how do you prefer to be called? With Miss, Mister, or just with your name? By the name. By the name, it's okay. Uh, what is the opinion of the rest of the class? Thank you. Hi, teacher. Hello, Patricia. My name is, well, I like, I prefer my name, but oh, yeah. okay. short name and only. Okay, thank you. So, Patty, thank you. So, we are going to call you in that way, Patty. Nice to meet you. Hello, Mr. Manuel. Good evening. Hello, uh, nice How to meet you, you too. Thank you. Fine. And drink a lot of coffee. Okay. We want a cup of coffee too. Don't worry about that. Turkish coffee. It's delicious. Yes, yes, it is. The rest of the class, do you want a cup of coffee tonight? Mr. Manuel can share the cup with us, the coffee ring, the cup of coffee. Okay, uh, hello, Mr. Francisco. Good evening, welcome to the class. Bueno, le estaba preguntando a la clase si prefieren ser llamados por su nombre, ¿verdad? Like Manuel, Patty, Lisette, or you want to listen Mr., Miss, In my case, I like Manuel. Ah, okay. Bye, Lisette. Okay, nice to meet you, Lisette. Welcome to the class. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay, in today's class, we are going to start by, it, um, by the platform. I'm going to show you the platform you are going to be using during this course. Eh, levanten su manita aquí y ya pude ingresar a la plataforma. Who has already signed in the platform? Manuel say me. Mónica, Angélica, Angélica tú, Eric tú, Patty tú, let's see, who more? Ok, bueno, el, el resto de la clase pues vamos a ver el día de hoy, ¿verdad? La plataforma que vamos a estar utilizando, se las voy a presentar en este momento. To start the class tonight. Okay, this is the first page that you have to log. You have to log in. Here is your email and here is your password. Eso lo recibieron en, en el correo de confirmación, ¿verdad? De inicio del curso. Okay. Ahí va la indicación. Tiene que entrar su email y su password. Acá en este campo. Cuando ya entren, van a ver la siguiente página. You are going to see this web page. And you are going to do this. Yes. Okay, here is it. So this is your course, Beginner 3, Inglés Principiante, Módulo 3. Uh, this platform has five sections. It has section one, section two, section three, section four, and section five. In each section, you are going to find some exercises and some videos that are very useful for you to learn and for you to answer the exercises and also the evaluation. So look at this. Here you are going to find the gold. Let's see, for example, this. Um, this is the lesson objective or the lesson gold number one. And it says by the end of this class, you will learn the months and date. Additionally, you will learn to about four things. That is the first objective, the first goal, and you are going to find this video. So you have to watch this video. Okay, can you see this check, the green check? Ese chequecito se les va a marcar, ¿verdad? Para la sección que vayan realizando, le va a ir apareciendo el chequecito de color verde en cada una de las secciones que vayan realizando. Then after the videos, you are going to find these exercises for you to practice. So look at this. This is the first one. This is the first one. What are these people going to do? Listen to the interview. What are these people going to do? So you are going to find the instruction in English and also in Spanish. Then you play here the audio and you are going to listen and you are going to answer this set of questions that you have here. In the first exercise, you have four, four questions that you have to complete with the listening. So again, the objective, video, objective, video, and exercises. That is the platform. So, estos son los ejercicios que usted tiene que ir resolviendo. Do you have any question? Do you have any question, guys? Until this moment, do you have any question? No. No. No, no question, teacher. No question, teacher. No okay, question. excellent. It's then. clear. Okay. Then that is section one and section two. And at the end of section number three, you are going to find this, which is the meter exam. This is the meter exam. You are going to take it, right? It has one, two, three, four. It has five. It has five exercise that you have to complete at the end of the section number three. And also it has a final test that you are going to take at the end of the course. 
which is after section five. Here is the final test and it has six questions, six exercises. So metered and final test. Those are really important and you have to take it. Uh, let me tell you something. Usted puede avanzar en esta plataforma tanto como usted guste ¿verdad? o tanto como usted pueda. Eh, la misión es llegar al 80%, ¿verdad? You have to get the 80%. Usted tiene que llegar a obtener por lo menos, ¿verdad? eso es lo mínimo, el 80% para poder optar a su certificado, ¿verdad? A su diploma. Pero como nosotros somos buenos estudiantes, todos tenemos que llevar la plataforma hasta el 100%, el 100%. I'm sure you can do it. Okay, and we are going to got it during this course. A otra aclaración, no tiene que esperar a llegar a la clase y al siguiente día resolver una parte de la plataforma. Usted puede avanzar tanto como pueda o tanto como quiera. Si en las primeras dos semanas usted ya completó la plataforma, excellent. Okay, great, no problem. Otra ventaja de la plataforma es que usted puede corregir sin ningún problema. Si en algún momento usted se equivoca, comete un error y al final de la sección tiene un 80%, un 70%, no dude en regresar a los ejercicios y corregirlos. Porque igual, ¿verdad? Su nota se va a corregir también. El objetivo es que usted aprenda haciendo los ejercicios hasta que estén perfectos, hasta que estén bien, ¿verdad? sin ningún okay. problema. Entonces puede avanzar. Recuerde que puede avanzar tanto como quiera y si tiene algún error, no dude en corregirlo. Una indicación más acerca de la plataforma es que tiene que, en los ejercicios donde hay que escribir, tiene que tener en cuenta las letras mayúsculas de capital letter en also the punctuation marks y también la puntuación para que no haya ningún problema en la respuesta. Ah, ok. Teacher. Dígame. En el módulo anterior se daba una situación en las contraction. Eh, cuando se hacía una contracción, como que el, la, que nos da, la opción que nos da el teclado de las computadoras no es el mismo que hay. Entonces, aunque en teoría está bien, él lo marca como un error. Entonces, lo que hacía es que ponía la palabra en Google y cuando me la, Google la hacía correcta, la copiaba y la pegaba. Solo así me la reconocía. Muy bien. Y gracias por el truco, ¿verdad? Bueno, ya tenemos ahí un tip. Gracias. Eh, sí, ¿verdad? La plataforma es, mm, es muy minuciosa con respecto a la puntuación. Y a veces en lugar del apóstrofe ponemos el acento, ¿verdad? Que utilizamos en español. Y es un signo diferente. Entonces nos va a marcar la respuesta como incorrecta, aunque la estemos poniendo bien. Ahora bien, eh, si sucede alguna situación así, siéntanse libre, ¿verdad? De escribir en el WhatsApp. You can text on the WhatsApp and we're going to help you. Nosotros le vamos a ayudar, ¿verdad? Si no, entre los compañeros, ¿verdad? Alguien ya hizo esa sección y les decía, sí, el truco está aquí, la mayúscula la pusiste mal aquí. Podemos solucionar eso en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sin ningún problema y siéntase libre de escribir en cualquier momento. Y con gusto le vamos a ayudar. Any other question? Any other question regarding the platform? No. Question. No okay. question. Excellent then. Just let me ask a question. How many sections we are going to find in our platform account? How many sections are you going to find in the platform? ¿Cuántas secciones vamos a encontrar en la plataforma? Five. Five. Okay, Five. excellent. Five. How many exercises uh, we are going to solve? Many. There are many exercises that you are going to solve. In evaluation, how many evaluation does the platform have? 
True. It has to read the meter and also the final, the final text. Okay, now let me show you some. Let me show you this presentation. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes. Yes, Okay, so welcome again. Welcome again to this course. This is the course beginner three. And we are going to read here some requirements. Eh, number one, nombre completo según su due, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando ingresó o cuando ingrese a la sesión, a la sesión en Zoom, por favor escriba su nombre completo según su due. Eh, encender su cámara durante la sesión. Eh, do it, Ray. Do it. Eh, minimizar el sonido ambiente, ¿verdad? Colocarse en un lugar donde no se escuche mucho ruido, ¿verdad? para que no haya mucha interferencia cuando le toque participar. Eh, participación activa en la clase. Eh, partici participe, please. Participe, ¿verdad? En la medida que usted practique, eh, usted va a ir mejorando. So, participate during the class. Asistencia al 100% a las sesiones virtuales. Desafortunadamente, no hay permisos. ¿no? Eh, tiene que estar presente en todas las sesiones virtuales. Then let's see uh, homeworks and evaluation. Es necesario cumplir el 80% de las tareas y evaluaciones de la plataforma, como ya les había mencionado antes. Eh, las tareas y evaluaciones las va a encontrar en la plataforma. No se les deja otra tarea, ¿verdad? Solo la plataforma. Ese va a ser nuestro campo de batalla, digamos. Llamémosle así. Ahí es donde nos vamos a ganar las medallas completando esa plataforma y eh, okay. lo que les mencionaba anteriormente también puede equivocarse y corregir sin ningún problema el objetivo es que usted aprenda yo so, puede regresar a los ejercicios anteriores hacerlo de nuevo corregir si se equivoca y no no hay ningún problema then look at this don't be afraid of mistake we all are learning no se preocupe de equivocarse ¿verdad? durante la clase en alguna participación, pronuncia una palabra mal y después ya no quiere participar. No en this group, right? No en este grupo. Acá sí tiene permitido equivocarse, ¿de acuerdo? Don't be afraid of mistake. No tenga miedo de equivocarse. Everyone may mistake. Todos cometemos errores. And in this course, we all are learning. Todos nosotros estamos aprendiendo. So don't be afraid. And you say, I want to participate, but I can't pronounce that word. Participate, right? And we are going to help you with the pronunciation of that word. And remember this, the more you practice, the better you get. Entre más practique, mejor va a ser en el idioma. And if you want something enough and work hard to get it, your chances of success are greater. Si usted de verdad quiere algo, eh, work hard right, to get it. Your chances of success are greater. If you work hard, si usted trabaja duro, eh, I'm sure that you are going to succeed in everything. So any question about the requirements? Any comment about this? No questions, no comments. No teacher. Oh, no questions. No teacher. Okay. Is it clear, guys? Okay. Then start learning. Uh, teacher, well, uh, hello. Good evening. Teacher. Yes. Que, <coughs> mi nombre es Melvin Rosales. Perdone, pero ahorita tengo problemas en, en, en mi garganta. Eh, comentarle cuando yo me inscribí eh, yo hablaba sobre que eh, el día de mañana yo tengo clases en la universidad entonces me dijeron de que eh, iban a, a sacarme un permiso especial para no asistir los días martes 
Entonces, le hago la consulta porque sí tengo ese impasse yo. Sería solo los días martes. Déjeme consultarle, ¿verdad? Déjeme consultar. Bueno, para que me confirmen, ¿verdad? Que usted sí tiene ese permiso especial. Ok, mil gracias. Ok, ya tome nota acá de su nombre para poder... Para que quede claro, ¿verdad? Que usted tiene un permiso especial porque tiene inconveniente los días martes. On Tuesday. Correcto. Muchas gracias. Ok. Thank you. Ok. So let's start with today's class. In today's class, we are going to learn months and date. Do you know the months of the year? ¿Ya conocen los meses del año? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Of course. Yeah, months. So let's start with this. What is this? Can you pronounce this? Mom, please. January. 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 Okay. Excellent. January. What about the next one? February. February. March, 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 April, 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 Okay, excellent. We have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, July. September, October, November, and the last one in the most beautiful month of the year, December. What is your favorite? What is your favorite month? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, or December? December. My favorite is December. Okay, my favorite mom is September, I heard. And someone say June, July, May, April. We have a different uh, favorite month for different reasons for different reasons. So let's see January 31 days, February 28 days and 29 days in leap years. What is a leap year? Bisiesto. Oh, okay, un año bisiesto. Leap years. Uh, okay. Do you know what happened with the kid that born on this date? ¿Qué sucede con los niños que nacen el 29? Celebrate the birth in 28. Okay, they celebrate the birthday in 28 or March 1st. Mm -hmm. They decide. Yes. Uh, March 31 days, April 30 days, May 31 days, June 30 days, July 31 days, August. 31 days, September, 30 days, October, 31 days, November, 30 days, and December, 31 days. So, ¿cómo se llaman estos números? 29. Tenemos dos tipos de números. Which type is it? Is it ordinal or cardinal? Ordinal. 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 Okay, in this case, we are using we are using cardinal numbers, but today we are going to use ordinal numbers. So look at this. What are ordinal numbers? As the name mentioned, it uh, ordinal numbers uh, represent an order. Representan un orden, verdad? Que va primero, segundo, tercero. Cuarto and so on. So we have here from first to tenth. So we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, 
seven, eight, eight, nine, 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 ten. 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 A partir del número 4, al, al final de los números, ¿verdad? Va la pronunciación TH. Y es that sounds right. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Y eso lo distingue de los números cardinales, ¿verdad? Que es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is an ordinal. Why we are going to use these numbers? We are going to use them to talk about dates. We are going to use them to talk about dates. Para hablar acerca de las fechas. That's why we are going to learn until 31st. Tenemos que aprendernos hasta el número 31. O trigésimo primero in this case. So look at this. It is from 11th to 20th. We have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20th, 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 
No question. We are going to use then no in a question. second. Okay. Teacher. Thank you. Yes. And 20, 20th and in, in, in cardinal, no, in cardinal pronunciamos 20 o 20 and acá se pueden hacer las dos pronunciaciones. In this case, no, we say 20th, 20th. Thank you. Okay, you are going to listen the pronunciation for you to practice in the platform. And there is a video in which you are going to find this. So watch the video on the platform, please. And you are going to listen that pronunciation 20th. Okay, any other question? No question. No. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Ricardo. So let's see at this question. When is your birthday? When is that a special day? The day in which you were born. When is your birthday? To answer this question, we are going to use this structure. Special day, verb be, the preposition on, month plus the date. Let's see, for example, my birthday. This is the special date. My birthday. Verb B is preposition on, month, in this case, January, and the day, 31st. My birthday is on January 31st. When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is on December 16th. When is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is on February 20th. So when is your birthday? I'm going to choose someone. Let's see, Mauricio. Can you please answer this question? When is your birthday? Good evening, teacher. My birthday is on May 8th. May 8th? 8th. Okay, thank you. Yes, teacher. Okay, choose one of your classmates. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Can you see your classmate? Choose one of them. Okay. Um... Just say the name. It's, uh... Patricia, so, so bella, Patricia. Okay, Patty. When is your birthday? Yes, um, my birthday is on August 14th. Okay, my birthday is on August 14th. 14th. Good sentence. Good sentence, thank you. Just one of your classmates, please. Wait. Manuel Alberto Cuerno. Okay, Manuel, can you please answer the next question? When is your mother's birthday? Okay, uh, my mother's birthday is on August 27th. Okay, 27th, thanks. 27th. Just one of your classmates. Okay, um, when is your father's birthday? Um, okay, Francisco, Francisco Isaac. Hello, um, my father's birthday is um, 10th, it's on October 10th. Thank you. My father's birthday is on October 10th. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Francisco. You did a great job. Thanks a lot. So in this way, we are going to use this structure, a special day, verb be on, month, and the date. So there is another way to answer this question. La otra manera de responder esta pregunta es diciendo just the month, solo el mes. But in this case, we are going to use this other structure. Special date, Verb be, preposition int, plus the month. 
But we are going to say just the month. Solo el mes, ¿verdad? No vamos a decir el día exacto. So let's see, for example, my birthday is in April. So I don't want to say when in April. So I just say my birthday is in April. When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is in May. When is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is in June. So we have two options to answer in this question. Saying just the month or saying the month plus the date. Diciendo el mes más el día exacto. But it is a difference in the preposition we are going to use. If you say the, the date, you have to use on. Like this example. You use on and you are going to say yes the month. You have to use in. Do you have any question about this? Is it clear, guys? No question. No, no question. Okay, okay, thanks a lot. So let's practice then. Let's practice. And the first question is this. When is your wife's birthday? For the ones who are married, para los que están casados, when is your wife's birthday? Por esta pregunta han habido mucho divorcio. When is your wife's birthday? What is wife? My wife's birthday is in May. Yes, in May. My say, wife's birthday is in April. Okay, my wife's birthday is in April. Thank you. Good sentence. Thanks a lot. Any other answer? When is your wife's birthday? My my husband's birthday is John. Yes, in June. Thanks. Any other answer? My wife's birthday is in November. Thanks a lot. Any other answer? Half the rest of the class is single. Great. My husband is birthday in March. My husband birthday is in March. Thanks. Excellent. Let's see the next one. When is your husband's birthday? Well, some of you have already answered this question, but do you have any other answer? When is your husband's birthday? My husband's birthday in September. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent answer. <laughs> My husband's birthday is in April. That is what I heard. Any other answer? Then let's go with the next question. When is your best friend's birthday? When is your best friend's birthday? My best friend's birthday is August. My best friend's birthday is in August. Thank you. My best friend's birthday is in September. Thanks. My best friend's birthday in May. Is in May. Thanks. My best friend's birthday is in May. Thanks a lot. Any other answer? But now say the day, the complete date. My best friend's birthday is on April 1st. Okay, thank you. My, my best friend's birthday is in July. This is my brother. Ah, okay. Okay, excellent. My Your best brother. friend's birthday in the, is in September. Is in September. Thanks. Let's see the other one. When is your brother or sister birthday? My sister birthday in August. 
My sister of your day is in August. Thanks. Very good answer. My Thank you. Your day is in October. My brother's birthday is in October. Thanks a lot. Any other answer? A los recuerdos son muchos. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> sucede, ¿verdad? Sucede. When there are many brothers and sisters, we forget about their birthdays. Teacher, good, good evening. I have a question. Tell I remember me. in the school that is on, no, is in. It's on September or, or it's correct, it's in. Yes, of course. Uh, we have two options. We have studied two options to answer this question. And we have studied this um, in this part. So we use on, we use on when we use the month and the date. So we say January 31st, for example. We are saying the exact day. And we use in when we are using just the month. My birthday is in April. So you have two options to answer. That's okay. why we can use both, but there is a difference. There is a small difference there. Thank you. No problem. My pleasure. So look at this. When is your mother's birthday? My brother's birthday is in April. It's in April, okay. Uh, My brother's birthday is in July. Thank you. But number five, when is your mother's My, birthday? My mother's birthday is on August 8th. Thank you. My brother's birthday uh, 18 July. Okay, my brother's birthday is in July 18. Uh, July it's 18. On July. Oh. It's on, on July, July 18. 18. Okay. 18. Uh, say again, my brother's birthday is on July 18. My mother's birthday is on October 10th. Thank you. My mother's birthday is in December. Thanks a lot. Any other? My mother's birthday in August, on August. Um, My mother. Wait, wait a second. On August, tiene que decir la fecha. In August. In August 27th. Ah, okay. My mother's birthday is on August 27th. Things. My mother's birthday, 28. My mother's oh, birthday, March. it's on March oh. 28th. Oh, sorry. Uh, my mother's birthday, uh, March on 28th. Oh, my okay. mother's birthday in on November 6th. Thank you. Okay, yes, my yeah. mother's birthday is on March November 28th. In your case, November? November 6th. November 6th. Things. If my mother's birthday is in May. Okay, my mother's birthday is in May. Things. May. And the last question, My when is your birthday father's birthday? Is in July. Thank you, Eric. Teacher, My when I say uh, primero, first. first. My mother's birthday uh, is on January 1st. Yes, that's correct. Excellent sentence, things. Thank you. Father, father, when is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is on January. 
Uh, it's on January. In the, in January. January, January. The date, January. Uh, because you say on. It's on January 3rd. 3rd, okay. My father's My birthday father. is on May 10th. It's on May 10th, thank you. My Okay, My is in January. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So, do you have any question? Any doubt? This is the moment. Question, doubt, comment. No question. Then let's go with the next thing. Thank you. Let's okay. go with the next thing. So look at this special date. These are special days that we have here in El Salvador, some celebrations. Let's see, Independence Day, for example, Day, Mother Mother's Day, Day Saint Valentine's Day, Day, Teacher's Day, New Year's Day, and Christmas Eve's Day. Christmas Eve Day. So Independence Day, when is Independence Day in El Salvador? <clears throat> Independence Day is on September. September 15th. Okay, excellent. Independence Day is when on is September 15th. September 15th. When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? Mother's Day is, yeah. is on, it's on May 10th. May 10th. Yes, you're right. Mother's Day is on May 10th. The next one, San Valentin's Day. San Valentin's Day. When is San Valentin's Day in El Salvador? San Valentin's Day. Valentin Day. Yes, San Valentin's Day is on February 14th. And what about teacher 14. day? When is teacher's day in El Salvador? Teacher's day is on June 22. 22 or 22nd? 22nd. Teacher day is in July. It's on June. It's on June 22nd. <laughs> okay, it's on June. Okay. June 22nd. June 22nd. Okay. Oh, sorry. What about New Year's Day? New Year's Day. New Year's Day is on January 1st. January 1st. January 1st. Yes. On January 1st. Okay, January 1st. January 1st. Yes, New Year's Day is on January 1st. What about Christmas Eve Day? When is Christmas Eve Day? Christmas Eve Day. 25th. 25. 25. 25. Uh, is it 24th or 25th? 25th. 25th. Okay. 25th. 25th. Sorry. Uh, no, nobody teacher, say what, nobody say 24th. In El Salvador. No. Teacher, what, what is Eves? Eves? Okay. Eves means vísperas. Ah, so, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's on, case, okay. it's on December 24th. 24th. Yes, it's on December 24th. That's correct. Okay, so Christmas is on December 25th. Christmas. But a New Year's Eve day is on December 20, 31st. New Year's Eve, Vísperas de Año Nuevo, is on December 31st. 31st. Okay, excellent. Now I need two volunteers. Two volunteers, please, who wants to participate. Eh, pongan su manita arriba, please. Who wants? Who wants to participate? 
Okay, I have Manuel, uh, Rosa, and Eric. Okay, Manuel, can you please say the question? Say the question and the other two people are going to read the answer, please. Okay, uh, when is Mother's Day in the Salvador? Uh, Mother's Day is on May. Tenth. Tenth. Excellent. Tenth. Uh, next question, Manuel, please. Okay. Uh, when is Teacher's Day in the in El Salvador? Teacher's Day is on June twenty second. Thank you. Next question, please. When is Independence Day in El Salvador? Independence Day is on September 14. Thanks a lot. The last question, please, Manuel. When is St. Valentine's Day in El Salvador? St. Valentine's Day is on February. 14th. 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 
Well, Repeat. let's share. Yes. Tell me your name, please. Say your name. My name is Manuel. Okay, okay. Manuel and Mauricio, can you please practice this small conversation? Let's listen okay. to Manuel and Mauricio. In this case, Mauricio, you are going to be A, and Manuel, you are going to be B. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hey, Manuel, what is your, your favorite month? Hi, Mauricio. My favorite month is March. Why? Why did you like? Uh, sorry, sorry. Why did you like March? Okay, uh, because the March is my birthday. Nice. My favorite month is November. Why? Do you have a birthday in November? No, um, but I'm fin finishes my work. Oh, good. So good. Thank you. You did a great job. A very, very interesting job. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you had vacation in November. Are you a teacher, Mauricio? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, nice. We are waiting that vacation too. So uh, two volunteers, two volunteers. We have Eric and... Eric and Eric and thank you, Patty. Eric and Patty. In this case, Patty is going to be A and Eric is going to be B. You can start, please. Hi, Eric. What is your favorite mode? Hi, Patty. My favorite month on, um, is October. Oh, what do you like October? Because it is a um, working vacation. Nice. My favorite month is in December. Why? Do you have a birthday in no, escuché no es. No, I, I have vacation in December. Good reason. Okay, thank you. Excellent job. Thank you very much. So let's go with the next small conversation we have here to practice today. Tonight, sorry. Oh, look at this conversation. When is fall in America? What season of the year is fall? Fall? What season of the year is fall? Caer. Um, in this case, it's a season. Otoño. That, that is the verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Otoño. Okay. So when is fall in America? It is in September, October, November, and December. Oh, how? That is a spring in New Zealand. When is fall in New Zealand? It is in March, April, May, and June. Oh, cool. So now let me ask you, when is summer in El Salvador? When is summer in El Salvador? March or April? Uh, I guess both, right? It's like March, April. And when is winter in El Salvador? August and September. Uh, we say it, is, it start in May, June, July, August, September, in September. And two volunteers to practice this small conversation. Two volunteers, please. Thank you, Manuel and Eric. Thanks a lot. 
So, Manuel, you are going to be A, and Eric, you are going to be B, please. Okay. Uh, Eric, when is fall in America? It is in September, October, November, and December. Oh, how? That is spring in New Zealand. When is fall in New Zealand? It is in March, April, May, and June. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thank you, too. Okay, thank you very much. So, guys, do you have any questions about today's class? Teacher, uh, the class is um, share uh, in the group because um, I just you, started. Do you mean the presentation or the link of the it's, video? Okay, I'm going to share both. I, I'm going to share with you this presentation and also I'm going to share with you the link of the video of the class. You are going to find that in the group. So do you have any other question? Any other doubt? If not, just remind you, just remind you that you have to work on the platform. You can start working on the platform. So you have to start completing those exercises and the evaluations. So watch the videos, solve the exercises, and at the end of this week or later, you're going to take the midterm. So keep working on that. Y trabajen en la plataforma si les queda por ahí un ratito libre, ¿verdad? Uh, este es el momento, ¿verdad? Ingresen sus credenciales, entran a la plataforma y comienzan a resolver los ejercicios. So that is important. Um, cuando usted ya tenga el, más del 80%, ya va a poder ver su diploma, ¿verdad? Pero eso no significa que va a dejar de conectarse a las sesiones virtuales. Muy bien. Um, nice to meet you, all of you. Ha sido un gusto estar con ustedes. It has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thanks a lot. See you tomorrow. Teacher, una consulta. El material que acabamos de ver lo va a compartir el día de mañana. Yes, I'm going to share with you. Okay, muchas gracias. Okay, any other question? No. no. Then uh, bye no. bye. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye. It really does.